How's it going guys? My name is Omar Rivera and I'm going to show you the world of sports marketing. So a little bit about me. I've been five years of experience at NBC Universal in Chicago, Illinois. My salary is around 95000 a year and I graduated here at FAU with a business management degree with a minor in marketing. And I work with almost all the sports teams in Chicago from basketball to hockey to baseball and I help them market themselves both in state and around the country. And then the keys to successfully market a sports team is you want to make the teams and games accessible, have a strong social media presence, and make the team have a strong connection with the city and fan base. So one of the first things and the main thing is the game day experience. You want to make the tickets affordable and fair for the fans to go to and come to the games. You want to keep the stadiums clean and up to date. Just like Wrigley Field, it's one of the oldest stadiums in the country. It's like 100 years old and we renovated it like two or three years ago. We put screens in the outfield, made the bathrooms a little bit prettier and put anemones and stuff outside for the sports fans to do stuff before they go to the game. And then obviously you want to have fans have fun at the stadium and enjoy the product on the field. And then also we do promotional nights and events like for the first 20,000 people that come to the game, we give out bobbleheads, figurines. We also do events like car giveaways, 50,000 K giveaways, stuff like that, just to keep the fans excited to come to the games and maybe win something or go home with a bobblehead or two. And then also for the fans that can't make it to the game, uh, we have TV deals. Most of our games are shown on our sports channel, NBC Sports Chicago. And then also we work with TV channels like ESPN and TNT to show our, our teams on a national basis. And then we also work with them like ESPN Plus for streaming options. So. For people that can't make the game, where they they don't live in Chicago, they can watch the games wherever they want, on their phone, on their tablet, anywhere they would like. And this, with the streaming options and having our own channel, it helps us uh, make it easy for fans to watch anywhere in the country, however they like. And then another way is having a strong social media platform, because right now, social media changes the game how people consume media, obviously. So it obviously plays, plays a huge role in our marketing. It allows fans to feel closer to the team and the players. It allows fans to see highlights and great plays from the team. You can see highlights, someone getting dunked on on the basketball game, or just see some, a cool play, you get to see it all. And it also allows us to show stuff off the court, off game day, like practice clips, what they wear before they go to the game. It allows um, like the fans to see the players besides what they do on the court. And a key to having a strong social media um, is the team of the social media. Without them, there's no one in control of the Instagram, the Twitter, and really connect with the fans on that basis. And another real important thing is the city connection. Obviously, there's no team without its city. This, the team should represent the city that they're in. For example, the Chicago White Sox and the Cubs. They obviously play in Chicago and they both play baseball, but they represent different fan bases. Obviously, the White Sox south side of Chicago, the more blue collar workers, the more hardworking people, and the Cubs north side, white collar workers, richer people, people who actually invest their time in the games and they really do represent their fan bases respectfully. And then another thing is having merchandise and memorabilia. Obviously we like fans that wear our jerseys, show the team who they love, not only in the, in the city, but also around. You know, when you see someone wearing a Bulls jersey or a Cubs jersey, you're like, okay, that guy's a Cubs fan. He really likes Chicago and what they represent. Then another main thing that we do is schedule fan meetings and events. Obviously these are events are really cool because the fans get to see the players face to face, shake their hand, look them in the eyes 
and have a good time with them, meet them, and kind of get that relationship that not a lot of fans get to see. And then in conclusion, our marketing team just really wants to make sports fun to watch and easily consumable. And another thing is we want to make fans feel like a part of the team that since they, not that they don't play, but they feel part of it. And then another thing is we want to keep old fans loyal, but also make new fans around the country. And our lastly, have the team relevant and help gain support from fans all across the nation. And yeah, any questions?